Hi, Hank here, and I'm going to do the October Lucky Tackle Box unboxing. Well, let's get started. When you open your box, you're going to find your card, and your card has all the information on the baits and the MSRPs. On the other side, they have a contest this week, uh, this month's contest, the Lucky uh, Tackle Box. Uh, take a picture of you and your Lucky Tackle Box, post it on Facebook or Instagram. Don't forget the hashtag Lucky Tackle Box. If you're one of ten lucky winners, you'll win a Daiwa rod worth $100. All right, the first bait in the box this month is from Lucky Bug. It's called the Zombie Max. It is a segmented swim bait. Now, Travis at Lucky Tackle Box has made videos of all of these baits that are in this box. I highly recommend you go and watch the videos. You're going to learn how to rig them, the location to fish them, and how to fish them. So watch that video from Travis. The next, or that bait, retails for $14.99. All right, the next bait comes from a company called Bass Munitions, and it's called Centipede. And for good reason, it looks like a centipede. Has a lot of appendages. This thing has a lot of wiggly action. You watch the video Travis makes of it, you'll see that this is a very good bait and it catches all kinds of bass, any size. The centipede. The MSRP on that bait is $4.79. All right, the next bait we have comes from friends at Gary Yamamoto. And Gary Yamamoto, this week we have, this month has the 7.75 cutail worm. The color I have is green pumpkin watermelon. Green pumpkin watermelon. Excellent bait. Has good heft to it. Good size. Bass this time of year, they like the bigger ones anyway. They want a big meal. And the 7.75 Gary Yamamoto worm, cutail worm, is going to give them that meal. So give it a try. You go to the store and buy that bait for six dollars and eighty-nine cents. Okay, after that comes a uh, bait from the Johnson Bait Company called the Salama Spoons, three-quarter ounce spoon. This bait's a little old school. Not many people use spoons today. There's too many other fancy things out there, but they catch fish. This is a good-looking spoon. Has a lot of undulation to it. Travis shows you how to fish it in the back of your card, shows you some different lines you can tie, different knots, and also different features on how to fish it. So take some time. Don't just get discouraged. Say, oh, I don't want the spoon. Hey, if you don't want the spoon, send it to me. I'll take all the ones you don't want. They're a good bait. They catch fish. You're going to buy that in the store. You're going to spend $4.99. And the next thing we have in there is from Mustad, a pair of some hooks, quantity of three, impact gripper hooks, size 3 out. This is for holding your soft plastics onto your hook. You don't have them slide down, and I have a problem with that. Some of the hooks I have, they slide down. you got to constantly re-rig it. This, you don't have to. You screw it in the end. You hook it up. You can uh, do a Texas rig, Carolina rig, any kind of rig you want. It's going to hold your bait on there so that you can get a lot better action on it. Yeah, buying those hooks is going to set you back five bucks, but they're worth it. Must add hooks are definitely worth the effort. Also in the Lucky Tackle Box comes our sticker. I've got a bunch of these on my tackle box. And then what I think is probably the best information in here is the Fish Hound Magazine. you got crazy advice from Tackle Bob, and it's called The Biggest Little Book on Fishing. Definitely need to read this book. It's got a lot of information. It's got the October Beer Fest recipe for apple brats. I haven't tried that, but uh, it looks good. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. I know it's a little dark. Sorry, my first one, but I'll get better as I go. And I'm also going to do a lucky tackle box slam with these baits shortly. I'll have that posted for you to watch. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Have a great night.